Oh. Ooh. Sorry to start the video on such a, a damn note. After Rotherham, I gave us the benefit of that in as much as I thought that the difference was the keepers. Their keeper made world class saves, as their two silly goals in. But on the whole, I think that it was another game, another day, it goes 2 1, 3 1, 3 2, whatever. Today we've come out, we've started like a um, really well. well. I think we batted them first half. I think we've really gone for it. And I just, I still can't even get over both of the misses. Um, Honeyman's to me, it comes in, it's, it's a small geezer. It's easy just to nut it in. He's instead chested the ball down across the goal and wide. <laughs> Alright, it's gone. We then move on to Coopers. Coopers is four yards out. It's a down. I'm going to give the benefit that if he, he gets too much like he did, it goes over the bar. I think had he let it done what Honeyman done and drop, I think we score. We went into the second half and we offered absolutely nothing. No passages of play, no, no impetus whatsoever. And they came on to us. They came on to us and it was a matter of time. Now last week, like I said to you before, the keeper slated him. I mean, I'm shaking now because I'm so fucking annoyed at this. Because we're right in the mix, we're right in the bother. And the 550 that come here deserve a lot better than what they got today. He's made a great save for their first header across there. It's dropped and we've got two defenders at a six foot plus. Not one of them picks him up. Harris has said that as well. And, 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 and he's put it in two minutes, what, a minute to go? And we've now, we're now right in the mix. We've, we've lost the two teams. Historically, we do not beat these two teams. But to lose them in that manner is... The, the, the main aim of today was not to lose and to get a point. All costs. We should have held out for a point. We took the striker off long one. I mean, fuck me. Striker is a waste of space, as far as I'm concerned. I don't want to slate him too much because there's others. Leonard, I think, had a good go. He always does. Mitchell's had an absolute stinker. He's, he, I mean, he's missed the one before the two chances. He drops to him, penalty, penalty spot. He's got to drill that left or right of the keeper. It's the goal. What are you doing at training? If you've got six barn doors in a row like so what, what barn door can you hit? I don't know how he's not hit the, hit the target. Well, he's hit the target, but he's not left or right. Fleming, non-existent. Actually, a bloke worth 15 million in the summer, you wouldn't get, you wouldn't, you know what? You wouldn't even get the beans for jacking the beanstalk for him at the moment. You know what I mean? And if he went to the top, he'd probably fucking fall off the ladder, the idiot or something. Do you know what I mean? Denora comes on too late, for my opinion. You've got, I don't think Tintanga and um, Poop did a lot wrong. Danny Mack, I don't think he did that bad, but what is a left back? He was meant to be a right back, doing it a left back, four at the back, what's going on there? Millwall have now got a dog for it. I mean, our next game is Leicester at home. Lose to Leicester at home, one of the bottom three wins, or ones that are towards the top of the three, we're in the bottom three. With a massive game against Cardiff away. Sorry, at home. We then go to Sunderland. Historically, we don't get nothing now. We then got Plymouth. That Plymouth put a good show in last night. They're the best one of the bad bunch down there. Don't fancy us there. Winning at home. And to go to Swansea, last game of the season, the Welsh would love to put us down. And if we go down, it is disastrous for this football club. Financially, it is disastrous. People say stupid things like, well, if we go down, at least we're going to win games. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we will at this rate. The only saving grace is that the, the Derbys and the Portsmouths are going up. I'm so distraught, I can't even hardly speak about it, the game, because I do not know a positive. I don't, Aris, you've lost. Do you think he's lost the new manager now? Yeah. Do you 
think it was that it just didn't manage better. Yeah, I, I mean, but Harry said when he left the club, he said, I can't take this club any more further. Yet, he took back over the club with 15 games to go to save us, and he's already said he can't take us any further. We do, me, we'll go from here. What are other people's thoughts on what they've seen today and what they're seeing, and what do they think? Because I think even if we do stay up, unless we put £10 million investment in, in the summer, we're going absolutely nowhere next year in this division. Go down, I think mid-season mediocrity is what we're going to get. We're in a free fall. We are in a free fall. And do you know what? From the diehards that have gone up here today, against the odds, they should repay us, every single one of us, with our money back. They should give their wages to charity because this was a shit show. And it ain't the first one. Rotherham was exactly the same. The weird, the weird thing about Mia Woolies, as we all know, is the girlfriend bipolar, the one you, the one you love that always lets you down is, we put it on beat Leicester. We put it on beat Leicester. Now I'm going to go off and get really fucking hammered and pissed up here, because it's the only thing to fucking do, apart from race pigeons and fucking whippets and wear a flat camp, which I've already got. Until Tuesday night, lads, keep the chin up. Harris, you need to come out and explain yourself. Players, you need to fucking pick your game up massively because we as Mill fans, all we want to do is play for the shirt and you're not playing for the shirt and that ain't good enough. Until then, come on you lines. Man!